going to get you all set. PET-CT is a powerful tool in cancer diagnosis and staging. PET stands for positron emission tomography. And CT stands for computed tomography. Sclerotic lesions within. Radiologist Kelly Shank explains, PET-CT starts with a radioactive tracer that's injected into your body. Prior to your pet, it's important that you don't eat for six hours because you want all of your cells to be a little bit hungry. Then we inject the glucose, which is tagged with a radio tracer, and then all of your cells that take up glucose will also take up the radio tracer. And the cells that are the hungriest or the most metabolically active will be brighter on our study. So that's a lymph node metastasis. Those bright spots show up on PET CT images, helping locate and stage cancer. Good morning, Laura. When you arrive for your PET CT, you'll change into scrubs and talk through the procedure with your technologist. We'll inject a radioactive sugar that your body will uptake. You sit there for about an hour to kind of make sure that it gets to everywhere we need to go to, to highlight. After that, I'll bring it into the room, and depending on what we'll do, we'll do between 12 and 20 minutes worth of pictures and make sure we have everything taken care of and get the answers you need. Just keep holding nice and still. Because the contrast contains a small amount of short-lived radioactive tracer, patients often ask if there are any restrictions after the exam. What's next? The half-life of the radiopharmaceutical that we use is about 110 minutes, which means in 22 hours, it's going to be completely gone out of your system. You'll be safe to be around others two to three hours after your exam. You can hug people, you can do whatever you want, and be as close to your loved ones as you want to be. Once a cancer is staged, your doctor can lay out a treatment plan based on your PET CT images. When I find disease on a PET CT, and a, uh, maybe a disease that wasn't expected, it's very rewarding to know that we're going to make sure you get properly treated and make sure you treat all of your disease so that you have the best chance at a full recovery.